Okay, we have another interesting integral here from the Caltech Math Me 2025 finals number eight. We have the integral of two x minus nine square root of x plus nine over x minus three square root of x to the one third dx. Okay, they actually have this one in the easy section. I don't know, it's not unbelievably hard, but I just, I don't think I would call this one easy. But it's definitely possible, so let's get started with it. Oftentimes when you see x and square root of x in the same integral, Factoring is probably a good way, and you might want to look at it in terms of a quadratic. So you can do like a little algebra substitution, just totally optional if it helps you. So I can call y equal to square root of x. And then when I factor it like this denominator, now we're looking at y squared minus 3y. So that's going to be the same thing as y times y minus 3. And then we can write that as square root of x times square root of x minus 3. Doing the same thing on the numerator, that's where maybe it's more helpful. You have 2y squared minus 9y plus 9. This is going to factor as 2y minus 3 times y minus 3. And so we can again put this back and write it in terms of square root so we can get it like this. And so what I want to do is just rewrite the whole integral with it factored out like this for the denominator and like this in the numerator. Okay, now rewriting it this way, the first thing we notice We've got two terms in common now. So what I can do is bring those together, thinking this as being a one exponent on this right here. If I combine these and divide it in, now we can write this as two thirds and get rid of this one. And the other thing I can do with this square root of x to the one third, I mean, of course you could do like, you could write it as x to the one sixth. I don't think I wanna do that though. I think what I would like to do instead I'm thinking about a u substitution. When you take a u sub, if you take a derivative of square root of x, you're gonna get a square root of x in the denominator. So I wanna force this to look like this. The way I can do it is to create square root of x to the two thirds up here. And just notice that we haven't changed it. Like if this is one and you divide them back, then this is gonna be square root of x to the one third. But now we've got the same exponent here and here. So I can multiply those two together let's see how that's gonna look. We're gonna still have this two square root of x minus three over here. Distributing these out, square root of x times square root of x is an x minus three square root of x to the two thirds, and this is gonna all be over this. But now from here, what I wanna do is a u substitution. I don't really like that having a two thirds there, so let me substitute there. I could set it up a little better. Let's just see how this looks, so if I do Let's set it up as u equal to x minus 3 square root of x. Take a derivative, then du is going to be just a 1 minus 3. This is going to become 1 over 2 square root of x. So we have it like this, but let's get a common denominator. So for our du, let's put it all over 2 square root of x. So turning this 1, I'll just do it on the fly. We'll call this 1 2 square root of x over 2 square root of x. Combine the fractions and we get 2 square root of x minus 3 dx, but that's that numerator is what we have there. This 2, I can create that, right? Just multiply a 2 here, so we're just multiplying by 1. And so that what happened is we have, if I combine this with the dx, that's going to be our du value. So go ahead and substitute. We have the 2 out front. This becomes just u to the two thirds and everything else is gonna be du. Go ahead and integrate with power rule. We get u five thirds reciprocal times three fifths. Go ahead and back substitute. So for my final solution on this, we just get six over five, x minus three square root of x to the five thirds, add a plus c and that's it. Okay, so not impossible, but I think the algebra is a little tricky there to see which combination is going to work. I think if you pick the wrong substitution, it could be a slow problem. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.